Right, this is just to show you, I'm using a bit of software called ZARX. Um, basically, I just, I've left my computer on, uploading videos to YouTube as I do every day. And annoyingly, when I went to check what was, uh, look, look for a file in my F drive, which is an external hard drive I have plugged in to my computer, just to make it blatantly obvious what an external hard drive is, in case you don't know. External hard drive, there's the size of it if I put my hand on, give you an idea, a couple of inches thick. Um, and obviously it connects to a computer using a USB cable. Just to show you, like that. That's that's an external hard drive. Anyway, my computer is now failing to recognise it. So just to show you, if I open up uh, this, com this, I used a shortcut to get to this PC. Double click on that. When I go to my computer, my C drive is obviously the drive that's got Windows on it. That's a SSD drive, solid state drive. The F drive, which has my YouTube videos on, can you see that there's no longer a bar there showing you like how much of it is full? And I knew immediately, I was like, oh my god. When that happens, basically Windows is no longer recognising the files on that hard drive. And when that happens, you're in deep shit, basically. So, when when something like that happens, I'll just... It shouldn't do any harm, let me just try and double click on it. If I double click on F drive, normally when you double click on a hard drive, it opens up fairly quickly and uh, it shows you what files and folders you've got on that drive just to show you that something is happening there's the progress up there so it is trying to open it but it's not going to um, when something like that happens ah, hold on let me just move that out of the way there you go F is not accessible. The file or directory is corrupted or unreadable. So something's gone wrong with that hard drive. Windows has bodged something up. It's um, bodged up something to do with how it's fi putting files into different folders, etc. So something's gone seriously wrong. So just click on that. When that happens, what you need to do is use a bit of software, as I just said, called ZARX. I'm just trying to look for the desktop icon to show you what it looks like. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Got so many desktop icons. Uh, Jesus Christ, where is it? Hold on, hold on, folks. Whilst I'm waiting <laughs> to find that icon, um, you can see what's going on on this window. My god, I need to sort out how many desktop icons I've got. Where the hell is it? Now oh, there it is, bloody hell. Right, Zarex, that's your desktop icon. So what you do, double click on that. And then what it'll do, just reading through my notes. Um, t -t 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 -t. Right, then, then what it says is, enumerating drive please wait and it might take four or five minutes to hunt through if you've got three or four different hard drives attached to your computer um, it'll be quicker if you've only got say one external hard drive attached and the problem is quite often because I've got so many YouTube videos I'm dealing with I've got more than one hard drive attached so sometimes I've got three or four like this because I'm moving folders from one hard drive to another because I'm uploading camcorder footage onto one YouTube account, blah blah blah. Anyway, if you do that, this ZRX software is unfortunately going to find three or four hard drives that to it seem exactly the same. You're not going to be able to tell which one is which, because um, it'll label them all the same. At the moment I'm using this brand is called Buffalo. Um, let me just show you the box, I might as well show you the box. Hold on one second. Oops. There you go. So I use these Buffalo 4 terabyte hard drives. Um, depending on where you buy them from, they can cost anywhere from 85-90 pounds to plus, basically. Shop around. Amazon is not necessarily the cheapest place. Um, try other shops is my advice. Obviously look at the Amazon price, but then go and compare it with the price on other shops like uh, eBuyer is another shop I use I think I'm trying to think of the name of it but anyway right so anyway after it's 
worked out what um, hard drives you've got on your computer it'll then list them and it also tells you what partitions you've got on there okay um, and then you select the drive that you think has got a problem I didn't select the partition it will tell you the name of the partitions but I just select the whole drive because I noticed something wrong with the whole drive and then you get this volume map showing up this little graph you can see coloured dots in the corner there I guess that's showing you the progress of how much of the drive it's, it's gone through or possibly I presume that's what it is not scanned yet is that colour that's nearly all yellow yeah okay so as you can see so far it's taken 42 minutes to do 37% of the hard drive I'm trying to think how full that was when I, when I got the problem it's a 4 terabyte hard drive and I think I had about one terabyte free. So there's three terabytes of data it's, it's currently having to look through to work out what's gone wrong and where. Um, so anyway, you just once you do that, it just starts doing this scan. And as you can say, they're calling it the disk scan quick mode. Quick, well, and don't complain about that. Actually, I was just about to complain, don't. Um, I've used some other software that does the same sort of thing, tries to fix damaged hard drives and my god it can take days to do and I'm not even joking I left I had to leave my computer on I think I left it on for about two three days one time when it was actually doing the backup um, process and even then it failed it kept going wrong it would back up maybe one terabyte or four terabytes I was trying to re recover and that's when I gave up I thought I can't keep doing this it's taking me days to try every time so fortunately I met a um, someone that's a professional photographer and I mentioned the problem I've got and he said oh he told me the name of the product so whatever you do Zar X it was brilliant for me last time hopefully it'll do the same this time so that's what you do you leave it you leave it going through once it gets to a hundred percent oh let's just work this out hold on so it's taken 45 minutes to do 38 percent so yeah I've probably got about another hour to go before it's done then I seem to remember I'll make another video to show you what happens when it gets to that point but um, once you've done that once it's scanned the damaged hard drive just to show you this the damaged hard drive here's my here's the front of my computer go around the side and here here is the damaged hard drive it's currently plugged in I can feel it vibrating and the disk is spinning inside there it's obviously got power on it that's, it's not like the hard drive has failed the, you know the disk inside hasn't stop spinning it's simply Microsoft has caused a cock up as Microsoft likes to do every now and then and I checked my notes and the last time I had a problem like this was September 2018 and it is now February 2020 so as you can see like every year and a half touch wood um, you may get some serious problem like this so if you, if you get a problem like that and your hard drive doesn't show up properly, get this Zarex software, run it. Once it's done the scan to work out what's wrong and what it's going to have to fix, it, what you're then going to have to do, you're going to need another hard drive. Um, obviously, the damaged hard drive, the data on the damaged hard drive needs to be moved. And in order to move it, you're going to need to buy another hard drive. Now, as I said, you're looking at 85 90 pounds average at the moment in february 2020 for something like this and this is a four terabyte one obviously smaller sizes might get you'll get for a little bit less this is a brand new one never used so i'm going to plug this into another usb port at the front of my computer and then i'm going to transfer the the files that it recovers from the damage drive onto this one so i've got potentially three gigabytes uh, sorry three terabytes of information from the bad hard drive it's going to have to go onto this and then when this is full what I'll then do is reformat the bad hard drive um, to completely wipe off all the data on it once I'm absolutely sure I've copied all the stuff that can be recovered onto this I'll then wipe the um, damaged hard drive and I'll be able to use that again um, so there you go this is just to show off Zarex you can see 
I'll just go in a little bit closer so you can see everything that it says. So it's volume map, looking at, it's got colours to show you what it's doing, what each section tells you. So damage, uh, data fragments is blue. As you can see, I've got a blue bit there. So maybe something's, well, obviously something went wrong on my computer about six o'clock when I came up to check. It's now about an hour later. Um, so, and it tells you what's going on with your computer, how much of your CPU it's using. It's telling me how many megabytes a second it seems to be going through on the drive, 28 megabytes a second. That's not, that's not a huge amount by any means, but it doesn't matter. The thing is, you know, at the moment, all those files and folders on, on the damaged driver, I can't access them. It's as if it's as if they're lost forever. So every video I've got for YouTube is now gone on that drive. Uh, things like Microsoft Word files, if you use Microsoft Office. I've got Word files on there. I'm trying to think what else I might have on there. I've probably got PDF files. Um, what else would I have on there? It's mostly YouTube stuff, yeah. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, potentially this is going to save terabytes of my data. So that's, that's that side. Da -da -da. And then here, some other information. I didn't touch any of these settings. This is what they decide. So timeout in milliseconds, that's what they've set. Retry attempts, I haven't done retries. Uh, da -da -da. For, forget add sectors. I haven't touched any of that. And it's got maximum disk cache read and write, explain, I didn't click on explain to do that, but anyway, oh there you go, there's the website if you want to get this software, z-a-recovery.com, that's where you go to buy this software, it's not free, um, but it's not expensive, and like I said, if it's going to save you, you your data, whatever you do, get it, oh, and just, oh, just in case I've confused you, that is, um, I've got a bit of software on my computer called Real Temp. Tells me the temperatures of my computer uh, in real time. It's constantly changing, and that's currently. Sorry, I've got that overlapping the Zarex Windows. Don't, don't confuse if you've seen that and you're thinking, "What's that sensor thing?" That's nothing to do with Zarex. That was simply in the way. Um, I must have loaded that after I loaded up Zarex. I don't want to touch anything in case I, could, I cause something to go wrong, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. As I said, I'll make another video. When, once this gets to the end, once it's done 100%, I will come back and I'll show you what happens at that stage. I'll make a second video. So uh, read the description underneath this video on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a, a link to the second video to explain what to do with this. Right, I hope that's been of some help to you. I haven't exactly... Well, it should it should be helpful to you. You may you may have never heard of Zarek, so hopefully this will help you. I hope you get to recover your data. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Click like if you like this. Subscribe to me and please look through my other videos. And I've got loads of playlists. Click on my playlists and have a look at all the different playlists I've got, which are basically a way to group together uh, videos by topic. So I've got plane videos, I've got wildlife videos, I've got computer help videos. So have a look through them. And you're bound to find lots of great stuff to watch. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye bye.